It is true because of the phase election, we are facing a few problems and we have been wondering how to deal with this, but we haven't found a solution. What is the reason according to you that the Lok Sabha poll schedule is as staggered? You will notice for the last 20 years we have been holding a staggered elections only, which means in many phases, five, six, seven, last time it was nine phases. The one and only reason is that, uh, the safety of a human being, the voter, the, the polling parties, even the security forces. So can we deny that political parties, not naming anyone, will benefit from a stretched out election schedule? Can we deny that? It, it is true because of the phase election, we are facing a few problems. And mostly the, because um, uh, from between two phases, uh, all kinds of rumours start floating and uh, uh, which is not good for, for the election. Mm -hmm. because like what sir? No, they, you know, so and so is winning uh, and it's a foregone conclusion and normally the public reacts this way that if uh, some party is winning then they also say that uh, join the bandwagon. Any <laughs> other concerns other than rumours? No, basically, no, no, basically that and secondly like uh, uh, we are not able to enforce the model code of conduct in a phase election because of again the same thing media so uh, electronic media is available uh, uh, in uh, one area where the election is happening there is total ban on campaigning mm -hmm. in the adjoining constituency there is no ban so the leaders know and they, they are misusing it even the top senior most leaders are misusing it it may be legally correct but ethically wrong very rightly pointed out that there are um, certain ways that political parties will get benefits but considering that here the political party with the most amount of money and resources is the BJP and it is in the central government, um, is it right for people to speculate that the election commission uh, might be keeping the BJP's convenience in mind? In principle, this uh, kind of allegation is wrong. It's not that the allegations have not been made when Congress party was in power. Why is it that people are uh, in a position to raise fingers at the new integrity of the election commission? There is one fundamental thing which needs to be done, that the appointment system of election commission is very, very faulty. We are appointed by the government of the day. So then are you saying that the election, election commission does tend to be biased sometimes? No, I'm only talking about perception. There is no influence, not at all. But then there is the fact that people are able to raise fingers, that is also very bad. Actually, it puts a very wrong and bad pressure on the election commission of, of the public. If you start making false allegations against me that I must have worked on the, the pressure of the, the government, it hurts, it, it, it doesn't feel good at all. Well, I really don't know because one should have full facts before us. Um, obviously, Election Commission has some facts which we don't know. In Odisha's case, we, I have no access to the fact. Surely there must be some reason. For the last many years, West Bengal has always had many phases. In fact, the, in 2012 or 13, when we had the election, Tamil Nadu and West Bengal were in the same phase, in the same, on the same election. They are uh, states of the same size. We did Tamil Nadu in one day and we did uh, West Bengal in five or seven phases. Tamil Nadu had money power, West Bengal had only uh, guns and worms. So that's why the same election, same times, uh, same, but we handled them differently because the ground realities as per our perceptions were different. So the election commission did come out and issue a clarification about Ramzan and its clashing with the poll dates. Uh, why couldn't they do the same with West Bengal and Odisha? I don't know, you are right. Actually, the, personally, I feel the election commission uh, should be very communicative, a lot more communicative. The communication always helps. It's better to explain everything. And I'm sure uh, nine times out of ten, people will be satisfied with the explanation. In uh, Vidhan Sabha, there will be uh, the number of candidates is also ten times more. For instance, there are only six uh, Lok Sabha constituencies in JNK. Under the same uh, Lok Sabha constituency, there will be seven or eight, uh, uh, actually, uh, 13, 14 Vidhan Sabha constituencies. That number is 87. Now, 14. 14 assembly constituencies or 15 assembly constituency per Lok Sabha constituency. Right. And everywhere, say, let us say, just 10 candidates. 
so for one uh, lok sabha mp you are uh, going for 15 uh, vidhan sabha mlas and the number of candidates is as many times and the security is to has to be provided to the candidate pso personal security their homes have to be secured their offices have to be secured the security requirement will shoot up many times and that is what uh, probably he was trying to explain and to me that makes a lot of sense